My name is Patrick Fisher. I work as a lead programmer here at Offworld. So far, the biggest challenge is on optimizing squad. We're dealing with a 10-year-old code base. The biggest blocker that we ran into has definitely been changing physics systems. With UE5, we no longer have access to physics, and instead now we have to use Epic's Chaos. It's not as performant as we would like, but we've done a lot of stuff in order to work around those performance limitations. Other challenges that we've run into is pip scopes and just GPU bottlenecks in general. UE4, we would essentially render the scene twice, then we would mask out the specific area for your pip scope to show a more zoomed in portion. With UE5, in order to have that second render, we also need to do the nanite base pass again, we need to do another lighting pass, another shadows pass, and that's very taxing, even for high-end GPUs. We're exploring now ways that we can avoid having two passes at all, or reuse some information from the first render pass, but we have to be very careful with this because lighting matters, shadows matter, and we do need to render that in the pip scope. After we did some initial testing with UE5, we realized that Lumen wasn't going to work for Squad. And we ended up using a custom lighting solution. So far, that's actually been a lot better in terms of performance. For the rest of it, Chaos itself as a physics engine just isn't that performant. And so to get around this, we used what's called an entity component system. And each of these entity components is responsible for a very specific area of a vehicle. Each of the wheels is actually its own entity component. And we get a lot of just little tiny bits of performance out of each time we do this. And this just adds up when you have the number of vehicles that Squad does. As Epic continues to improve the physics engine, we're going to see better results going forward. We have learned so much as a studio. We are passionate about our game. We want to continue prioritizing performance, not just for the players, but for us as well.